Painting is my way of just escaping reality, going to my little happy place. If I can't be surfing, I might as well just be painting waves. <laughs> just get to design a, my own wave, really. And art is therapy for me. I'm Eric Abel, and I'm an artist. To me, the ocean and making art were one and the same, an inherent expression of spirit, fun, nature, and freedom. Yeah, I knew, you know, I knew that I would always, as soon as my first time surfing, I knew I was hooked. I knew I was always gonna be uh, loving the ocean and traveling and searching for waves, but I definitely knew that I was gonna be an artist somehow or some way. It was just always, there was no other option. I, I always loved the adventure and always loved to travel and, and uh, surfing is like the perfect excuse to go somewhere and explore. You know, some weird culture, beautiful place. And I, you know, I had gone on surf trips and different things here and there, but I, I really decided to take off and just bought a one-way ticket to New Zealand uh, with a surfboard bag and a backpack. I bought a little van and just made my little, <laughs> made my little home out of there and camped all around and met amazing people from all over the world and uh, just, just explored. And, camped out by myself on empty beaches and surfed empty waves and <laughs> cooked over bonfires. And <sighs> I pull inspiration from all those adventures for sure. I mean, having a van, having all your gear be able to be in it, sleeping in it, it's, yeah, it, what more do you want? Tent life is not cool. I don't, I don't really paint any specific place in particular or any, any one way of, um, it's all just from memory. So this is still kind of in the beginning phases where I'm just putting down different colors and seeing what works and kind of going over the sketch lines and tightening them up a little bit and you know, figuring out what colors I want to go where. Now it's just kind of a puzzle. I go back through my sketchbooks from traveling and, and see little tidbits. Of, oh, that was such a good idea. Or, or man, why didn't I paint that? This is the most valuable thing I own right here, this box, really. This is truly the most valuable thing I own. I mean, I've got these all dated. I can, then we're, then we're getting crazy. But see, there's, then Abstract Pursuits comes in. I mean, this is mostly all, this is traveling, man. This is, and just like little quotes. My inspiration comes from, from the work itself. So the more, the more I sketch, the more ideas I'll get, one little one little weird line or one little weird object might set off a whole whole train of thought. That's kind of what's going on with with these three-dimensional wood pieces I've been designing. It's just all these little elements of you know maybe the trees are actually painted on the panel here, and this stuff is wood. Um, little 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 ideas like that that could just spark, spark something. I'm a double agent, I'm two artists in one. I do my abstract pursuits, I do my able arts. They both kind of cross pollinate each other. Um, they both keep me sane. So I'm either drawn to figure out what I'm gonna paint and, or painting. Uh, but with these sculptural pieces that I've been doing, I mean, a lot of time spent in the, in the wood shop and sanding and yeah, I like the idea of like cutting sections of driftwood like with the chop saw and just having like flats like anywhere on the Oregon coast, you're gonna find good pieces. Like that's the perfect little little jam right there. Beach coming. I mean, I grew up around the ocean. I grew up surfing and going out to the Channel Islands down in Ventura and making art. I mean, those, those were just two of my life's passions from when I could remember. I think this place gets some good waves sometimes. I feel like I, I have to do art or I freak out, get grumpy, get cranky. I could live in my studio and be, do, I could do this all day, every single day with the occasional, occasional break to go do something fun. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's therapy. I can just come in here and just, the world melts away. 
identify as an artist. That's what I, I want to create my entire life. That's what I want to do every day. That's what makes me feel better. That's what makes me be able to deal with the reality of being a human in this world. So that's what I like to do. That's what I want to do. And I'm lucky that I get to call it a job. It's just my way of, of kind of paying respect to something that's given me so much joy in life and taking me around the world and giving me wonderful adventures. And um, yeah, the ocean is just one of the most influential parts of my life.